hasa sio sababu ya watu wanapigana Israel ama Palestine ni sababu ya ushuru wa zakayo ushuru umeenda juu zaidi wame double VAT on fuel ndio sababu mafuta yako juu Kenya kuliko Tanzania dunia yote the crude oil prices are at the lowest 69 dollars per barrel why is it that in Kenya fuel prices are not coming down watoto wetu wa boda boda wanaumia watu wote wanaumia ni kwa sababu ya ushuru wa zakayo so mambo yetu ni matatu nikimalizia sisi tumeambia bwana zakayo sababu hata yule zakayo wa biblia si Yesu alipomwambia ashuke si alishuka jamani lakini huyu zakayo wa Kenya tumemwambia shukisha bei ya mafuta bei ya vyakula zakayo amekataa Tumeambia Zakayo ashuke kwa mti Zakayo amekataa. Sasa kama amekataa kushukisha vyakula, amekataa kushuka kwa mti. Watu wa Kamoto tufanyeje huyu Zakayo jamani? Tufanyeje? Sema kwa sauti Zakayo sikia tufanyeje? Tukate miti? Tuambushe Zakayo? Basi mtayarishe shoka na tunashukuru tu na shoka kali hapa inaitwa bwana Namisi. Twende kazi. 1957 ni mara ya kwanza uongozi huu kuingia hapa kwetu. Sio ni baraka jamani? Na sisi leo kama marafiki wake Bwana Namisi tumesema tuje tukaribishe kwa furaha sana baraka hii. My brother Agri we are here to say congratulations. We know that it was never easy. But you are a strong and resilient leader. Huyu bwana Agri Namisi alipambana 2021 wakati alikuwa anatafuta nafasi ya kitaifa katika KNUT. Wakati huo hakufaulu. Lakini hakuchoka. 2022 akaingia kinyang'anyiro cha ubunge hapa Webuye East. Yeye amekuwa nasi kwa azimio hakufaulu lakini hakuchoka. Kwa mara ya tatu amepambana na amefaulu. Sio hapo rawali sio wewe kakuvihera na misi murumba sasa bora angata. But it will not have happened without your resilience, without your focus, and without the support of your colleagues. How are walimu ambao wako na wewe hapa siku ya leo? So we want to thank your colleagues. Na kushukuru sana familia yako na wale wote wame kusupport. Tunapata kiongozi wa kitaifa kama na misi. Tunajua pia tumepata sauti ya kitaifa at the national level we are happy that from bungoma we have a voice that will speak out for the teachers that will speak out for the community that will speak out for this county and this country na sisi tunakukaribisha sana sababu kule juu kuna shida when you are looking at the national leadership of our country our country is in a mess whether it's in the education sector integrity ya mitiani yetu now is being questioned whether it's the health sector kuna shida ikija kwa maisha wananchi wanalia na tumetembea pwani kaskazini mwa Kenya nimekuwa ukambani kila pahali wa Kenya wanalia maisha yamekuwa magumu zaidi the cost of living is too high. Hata wa Kenya wengi hawajui hii sikukuu ya Christmas watakula nini. Ni kweli si kweli jamani? Hata baada ya Christmas hawajui January watoto wataenda shuleni namna gani. Ni shida kubwa. Na ndio sababu tunataka tushukuru our religious leaders. Tumekuwa na wale bishops wetu wa Catholics wametoa a very strong statement. NCCK 
would like to hear a strong voice kama ya na Missy KNUT kuongea juu ya what is happening in our country today mambo ya cost of living na hiyo ndio mambo ilitupeleka bomas wenzetu na tulipata maoni kutoka kwa stakeholders what lakini ukweli lazima tuambie nikiwa nyumbani leo sababu nilikuwa macho yenu kule bomas ukweli ni kwamba wenzetu wa Kenya kwanza hawakusikia kilio cha wa Kenya walipoleta mswada wa fedha finance bill 2023 maoni yenu wa Kenya mlikataa mambo ya hiyo finance bill mambo ya ushuru kuongezwa na zakayo lakini zakayo alikuwa na moyo mgumu hakuwasikiza ninyi akapitisha finance bill because he had the numbers